Dear students of media translation, let us talk about the nature of media translation, what it means. Media as such is the way two sides communicate with each other. With the purpose of communicating for influencing. You can see the media in business, you can see the business in education, you can see the business in awareness. In other words, the media, the purpose of media is to influence hearts and minds of the people, to earn them, to convince them to do something. For example, in business, business companies, business establishments would like people to buy their products. Of course, when we want to sell products to our customers, we need to convince them that our product is the best quality wise, price wise, services wise. Yet at the same time, there are competitors in business. So unless a company tries to convince its clients, its customers that its product, its services are the best or better than their competitors, the customers, the clients may not be convinced to buy it from them. So besides having a quality pro quality product besides having a competitive price they need to reach the hearts and minds of the people to convince them that what they are buying from this company this organization is really worth what they are paying for so here they need to address the logic sometimes they need to address the emotions sometimes. Sometimes they need to address both. This is about the business. Similarly, the media could be used by different organizations for awareness campaigns. For example, now we have uh, the coronavirus going on in throughout the world right from World Health Organization to the local ministries of health and other organizations, everybody is trying their best to educate people to take necessary precautions, to cooperate with the government and other organizations, to save, some, save themselves, to save their families and to save their societies. Tough measures may be taken by the governments, but unless the people cooperate, these campaigns may not succeed. So for this, these organizations not only need to disseminate the information, they need to convince the people as well. They need to put forward the information in, a, in an attractive manner. In, an, in a convincing manner. So again, here too comes the, the, the mode and the method, how, the, how this uh, act of convincing the people takes place. As human beings, we are sometimes convinced through logic. Sometimes we are convinced through our emotions. Sometimes both. So there could be lots of other examples besides the business and the awareness uh, campaigns. The media could be used for good and bad purposes as well, as it does happen in different fields of life, in different um, uh, ways, as you can see in the modern media, especially on the internet, even on the television channels. So nobody has any control over the media. The, uh, so, so the experts in media use the best possible ways 
manners, styles, tools to reach the hearts and minds of the people, to win them over, to convince them doing something. Now, in this process, the language plays a major role. How the things are written, how the things are spoken, how the things are presented, what kind of language should be used, and so on and so forth. Now, this being the case, a translator has to be aware that the basic material, media material produced to convince the people through their logic, through their hearts, through their minds, or a combination of both, must be taken care of in the translation as well. So a translator's translation may be perfect language-wise, it may be perfect culture-wise, but unless the translator understands the message behind the media material, he might do a good business translation, he might do a good business translation, he might do a translation which is perfect from the language point of view, but it, if it fails to, to have an impact, have an influence on people's hearts and minds, this uh, could not be a media translation. Because media, again to say, means to influence and leave an impact so that we make people do something. So, the same thing if you allow me to say uh, briefly in Arabic, يعني وجد الإعلام التأثير على أنفس الناس على أقولهم على مشاعرهم فجهات المخ... الجهات المختلفة محلية أو غير محلية هي تريد تكسب الناس للإقدام على شيء في عالم من الواسع الشاسع وبواسع مو... ب... بالوسائل الإلكترونية حيث أسبه العالم انقمش العالم قد يكون هناك جهات التي تستخدم الإعلام اللي, اللي أغراض نبيلة وقد تكون هناك جهات تستخدم لاستغلال الناس بأساليب جميلة شيقة رائعة بلغة جميلة فبما إن الإعلام وجد للتأثير لكسب الناس اللي الإقدام على شيء من المهم على المترجم أن يفهم أن يدرك هذا الغرز في إنتاج في الإنتاج الإعلامي ومن ثم يحافظ على على كون المادة الإعلامية مؤثرة فقد يلجأ المترجم لطرق مختلفة للمحافظة على التأثير فمثلا قد يكون منتج تجاري استهلاكي مرغوبا في في ثقافة في بلد معين بطريقة معينة وقد لا يكون هذا الأسلوب نفسه مؤثرا في بلد آخر إذا قدم بنفس الأسلوب فعلى سبيل المثال كما تعرفون إعلان متاعم الكنتاكي إعلان معروف يقول يفيد باللغة الإنجليزية This is a finger licking experience. Means if you eat this Kentucky chicken in our store, in our shop, in our in our uh, restaurant, you will not only eat the chicken, you will not only eat the bones, soft or hard, you will even lick the fingers. Now what's important to note here for the translator, Licking the fingers is not something unusual in, let's say, Eastern or Arab cultures. We even lick our fingers even we, when we eat rice, when we eat uh, normal curry. But in the Western culture, people do not eat, first of all, do not eat with the hand. And if somebody eats with the hand and then adds to it, 
and licks his fingers to relish, to enjoy the taste. So we need to exaggerate a bit here that you do not need, you don't have to care for the social norms. The food is so tasty that you will not care for anybody, whatever he or she or they say. You will want to enjoy. You will lick your fingers. So the translation for this in Arabic was done by some expert translator or by a creative media translator saying سَوْفَ تَأْكُلْ أَصَابِعَكْ بَعْدَ أَكْلِهِ أو كما قيل. Because in the Arabic culture, in the Eastern cultures, we do lick fingers as, as a habit. We eat food with hands. And for religious reasons also it's encouraged that we, 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 when we eat, we do not leave anything. Whatever is left on the plate, we complete it as an appreciation to what God has provided us with. So if we tell an Arab that sofa talaq asabi'ak ba'da akli hadhi al-wajba falan yu'akuna mu'athiran bi'ayi halim min al-ahwal falnahtaj al-mubalagha i'lamiyya bihayth kama qala al-mutarjim nukul lil-zayir lihadha al-mat'am sofa ta'kul asabi'ak ba'da akl tanawul hadhi al-wajba يعني لن تكتفي بلعق الأصابع بل ستقدم على أكل أصابعك فإذا كان إذا كان المبالغة إعلامية في في النسخة الإنجليزية you will lick your fingers after or while eating this is unusual in the western culture so to maintain this exaggeration in the in the eastern or the Arabic culture we said you will eat your fingers of course, nobody eats fingers, but it is to uh, to compel a visitor to the restaurant that is extremely tasty. You must experience it. You will not only eat and lick your fingers, you will even eat. It is so tasty. So this aspect of media translation is very important to be kept in mind by a media translator that we are not only translating the language, we are translating the impact, the influence which our advertisement, which our communication, which our education must leave on the recipient, on the audience, so that we make them do what they do. So thank you for being patient, for listening. Hopefully, God willing, inshallah, we'll complete this with another uh, online lecture. Thank you so much.